the most highest stuff to hear. We know the most high took the bell off our eyes, took the block out of our ears. We can hear and we can see now. So we had no problem here, man. Go back to that first minute. First Peter 3 and 14. Come on. But an empty supper for righteousness' sake. Right. Happy are ye. Happy are ye. Come on. And be not afraid of the terror. Be not afraid, man. Don't be afraid. We're not afraid. What's so over for the fathers to take cheer? Come on. Neither be troubled. Uh huh. But sanctify the Lord power in your heart. Sanctify the most high in your mind, man. The troubles are coming to the earth, man. And if you don't have the most high sanctified in your mind, you're going to faint. You got a fight. You got to fall out, man. You ain't gonna be able to do it, man. Troubles are coming. Troubles are coming. And if you don't sanctify the most high in your mind, in your heart, you got a problem, man. You ain't gonna get a It's like I heard this brother. He was talking. I'm gonna give it the GMS said this. This is a very good point. They said when Hurricane Katrina came. Then nobody called on the Most High, they called on the President. It's the same scenario. When the hammer come down to America, and you ain't been called on the Most High, you ain't sanctified the Most High in your mind, who you gonna look to? You gonna humble up. You gonna humble up to the so-called wicked, man. And we can't even say it's the so-called white man. Because this thing gonna be a unified thing, man. All nations gonna come down on the right. All nations, even Israelites, gonna join themselves to the wicked, man. Even Israelites don't join themselves to the wicked. And if you don't sanctify the most high in your mind, that's who you're gonna fall to. That's who you're gonna fall victim to. So now's the time, man. Now's the time to check out what we say. Listen, pay attention. Pay attention. First Peter 3 and 15. But sanctify the Lord's power in your heart. Uh -huh. And be ready always to give answer to every man that asks you for reason of the hope that is in you. Give answer, man. Don't cuss them out. Don't swim away. Don't cast them away. Because through your hope and through your fear, you might be able to turn them around, man. They might be able to hear. They might be able to see. Be ready, man, to give the answer to them that ask the reason of the hope that's in you, man. You got to be on point, man. A bishop. A bishop. Ask the teach, man. He's asked to teach. Give it a reason, man. This is why, man. This is why I feel this way. This is why I believe this way. This is why I preach this way. Because I know the hammer's about to come down, man. This is why I stopped fornicating. This is why I stopped lying. This is why I stopped stealing. This is why I stopped idol worship. This is why, because I know the hammer's about to come down. This is why, because the hammer's about to come down. You know what? First Peter, 3 and 15. But sanctify the Lord in your heart. Uh -huh. Be ready always to give answer to every man that asks you the reason of the hope that is in you. Praise the Lord. With meekness and fear. With meekness and fear. With meekness, lowliness, and reverence to the Most High. With meekness and fear. Give answer. With meekness, lowliness, and fear. Fear being reverence for the Most High. Not blasphemy. Not blasphemy. The scripture tells you. With meekness and fear. With meekness and fear. Come on now. What do these scriptures talk about? What are these scriptures talking about? Should I go and make my own thing and blast people? Lift myself up and blast them? That's not what the scripture says. It says with meekness and fear. Ecclesiastes 18. 8 verse 5. Reproach, reproach not a man that turneth from sin. Right? But remember. That we are all worthy of punishment. That we are all worthy of punishment, man. So don't reproach a man that's turning from sin. So give an answer with meekness and fear to whomsoever asked that the whole thing is in you. Why you feel this way? Why you preach like that? Why you look like that? Give an answer to them. Why? Because I know I don't want to feel that fire and brimstone that's coming to America. I don't want to burn in America. I want, I want redemption. I want the most high to raise me up out of here. So when the bombs start coming to America, I want to be able to escape. And we all know it's about to come down. We all, we all, we all ain't gonna act like we don't know. Even though we want to act like it, even though we want to turn our back and say that ain't gonna happen, we know deep down inside, you know this thing is coming to a head. So what should we do? Turn it around. Turn it around. Turn to the Most High in truth and sincerity, because the hammer is about to come down. The hammer is about to come down. There ain't gonna be no more running in and out of religion, running to and for church. Look, when 2000 came around. Everybody was looking for some for religion. Everybody was looking for a way out. But the most high the is coming, and you went back, started being drunken with the drunkards, beating up the servants, 
You know that scripture, right? You know that scripture, Matthew 24. You know that. What in it the most I delay is coming? And that wicked servant go back and be drunken with the drunkard and being a servant. The power of that guy, the power of that man, to come in a day when he least suspected. When he least suspected, that's what happened. So after 2000, after everybody ran around looking for religion, everybody went back. After they said, oh, he's not coming. Well, it's not, God is not coming. So I'm going to go back and live my life. But the most I said, he's going to point you apart with the wicked, man. Point you apart with the wicked. Because you left off, man. Faith. You faith. Come on. Yeah. First Peter 3 and 16. Having a good conscience. That whereas they speak evil of you, as of evildoers, uh -huh. they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation right. with Christ. Having a good conscience. So those that put on the as false as evildoers, read that again. Having a good conscience. Good conscience. The word that whereas they speak evil of you. Whereas they speak evil, those that are without speak evil of you. Come on. As of evildoers. As the evildoers. These guys preach the Bible. Look what they wear. They talking about destruction in America. That's what the Bible talks about. That's what the Bible talks about. We talk about righteousness and wickedness. Life and death. That's what the most I talk about. That's what the Bible is talking about. The Bible is not talking about religion. It's not talking about Catholicity, Catholic, Baptism, Protestant. The Bible is talking about right and wrong. It does not say anything about religion. So whosoever joins himself to a religion got a problem. The Bible is talking about right and wrong, not religion. It's not religion. Religion can prove this thing, man. Through religion, we don't know what is right and what's wrong. They say everything is good. They say everything is good. In religion, that's not what the Bible says. The Bible tells us what is good and what is wrong. He tells us what to do and what not to do. How to obtain salvation and how to lose. That's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says, right? That's what it's all about. First Peter 3 and 17. For it is better that the will of the Most High be so, right. that you suffer for well doing. That we suffer for well doing. That we suffer. The police come right now and hammer and beat us down for preaching these words. It's good for us to suffer for that, man. Instead of waiting outside the ATM machine for you. It's better for us to suffer and get beat down for preaching these words than waiting outside, outside the ATM to rob or for being on the street selling drugs, or for raping a little girl. It's better for us to suffer doing this than to do that. So happy are we. First Peter 3 and 18. Come on. For Christ also hath once suffered for sins. Christ also suffered for sin. Come on. The just for the unjust. The just for the unjust. The just man, Christ, died. He suffered for the unjust, for us. That was crooked. 